The study reports on the first man experience with a novel cry balloon platform and this is an early experience on the first 30 patients done in uh, two centers, uh, New Zealand and my center in Split, Croatia. Cryo balloon system is designed to isolate the pulmonary veins and in, in, by doing so uh, being able to cure the, uh, the most common arrhythmia we treat today, atrial fibrillation. The current, current platform is uh, in uh, clinical practice for years. It has undergone some of the, some of the uh, uh, improvements, but obviously there was a room for improvement and that's why here, here are we presenting the next, next generation of the cry balloon. The key takeaway is that we have another alternative cry balloon platform that will probably retain all the benefits of the old system, talking about good safety profile and a good efficacy profile, while giving an operator's opportunity to improve some of the intraprocedural aspects and thus making operators, especially newcomers, uh, more comfortable to deal with the system. The system can be highly personalized to help the lab, uh, lab efficiency and also the system incorporates two important safety features uh, that uh, will allow operators to, uh, to uh, try to uh, avoid uh, going uh, to, the, to, the, to the point of procedure where you can uh, uh, make a complication, which is very important for this kind of procedure. These are elective procedures and the safety bar should be high. It's just another cry balloon system and the benefits uh, and the risks will be probably the same that are already published for the system that's 10 years in the use. Uh, probably uh, with the larger volume of the patients, maybe some of the benefits of the, this new generation uh, might, uh, might come and be uh, obvious. Talking about uh, ability to uh, track esophageal temperature and avoid uh, avoid uh, lesions that could injure the es esophagus because es esophagus is very adjacent to our targets uh, target tissue that we want to destroy. Uh, also, it will it might help uh, 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 it might help uh, uh, physicians avoid uh, endangering the phrenic nerve, the nerve that is very important for diaphragm movement, because uh, the system com uh, the system is uh, equipped with the proprietary hardware and software to recognize uh, if uh, during the cry application the phrenic nerve is injured. I think in the long run this might turn out in a benefit. This is uh, the system. This, this system has some uh, new materials and new components. This is early experience, and we wait. Uh, we wait uh, we, uh, uh, more centers uh, to uh, take this uh, uh, take this technology and test it in their own practice. The, the engineers uh, that uh, constructed this might believe that there are some more further improvements down the line in the production line that might turn. Uh, uh, in an advantage over the over the old system.